Hello, my name is Javier. I am a biologist and I am the director of the Amazon Rescue Center, which is a project developed in Peru by the Dallas World Aquarium in collaboration with the Research Institute of the Peruvian Amazon and the regional government of Loreto. We evolved in a Peruvian Amazon, a beautiful place where people interact with one of the most diverse and important ecosystems of the planet, where for thousands of years, men has wisely used what nature provides to build their house, feed their families, and live in a healthy environment. However, the overexploitation of resources has led many places where once there were abundant resources, today people no longer can find them and start living in extreme poverty and really deplorable environmental conditions. Many wildlife species that are very important for our ecosystem are beginning to disappear. One of them is the Amazonian manatee, the largest mammal in the Amazon, which, despite laws that protect it, it still remains hunted for their meat. The problem becomes more serious when baby manatees are captured alive in order to be sold as pets. The manatees, like all mammals, are dependent on its mother's milk to survive the early years. They breastfeed underwater, and their nutritional requirements are very complex, so its care requires a lot of effort. In some cases, when we rescue manatees, we found babies who are floating belly up. They have intestinal blockage because people who have given them inappropriate food for their age. It's like feed a human baby with hamburger. It's impossible. The human baby needs meal. The manatee does too. In extreme cases, we find specimens that after several weeks in captivity are extremely thin. They have lost all their energies and are dying. Losing offsprings is very hard for a species that is endangered. Since 2007, and with the support of the Dallas World Aquarium, we started the rescue, rehabilitation, and release of the Amazonian manatees. Most of the manatees come to the center as newborns, and after three years of rehabilitation, they are ready to return to their natural habitat, where we give them the opportunity to play their important role in the nature again. All this work is supported by an intensive program of environmental education with local children where combines that rescuing animals is worthless if people continue hunting them. During this process, we realize that children mostly have a lot of information about the importance of conserving and taking care of nature, but the fact that they have knowledge does not necessarily mean they have the desire to be conservation protagonists of their environment. That is why, in our search, we understood that the best strategy to handle love for nature is to create emotions. Our environmental education system focuses primarily on positive emotions. That is the best way to promote the necessity to take care of nature and develop empathy for their nature environment. That is why we use the best strategy in the world, games. Most adults today who are committed to protect the environment have something in common, is that during their childhood, they had the opportunity to be in touch and play with nature. We provide an opportunity for thousands of children to experience nature in a fun way, creating a space where they can smile while they are learning about the environment. So, our dynamic games are designed to educate the brain and educate the heart. The results. Today, the rescue center has rescued and successfully rehabilitated 25 manatees. 12 of the manatees who were rehabilitated were returned to their natural habitats in protected areas of the Amazon in collaboration with the local population. We have worked with over 80,000 children who are key partners of our efforts to preserve the Amazon. Additionally, we receive around 20,000 tourists per year. The Rescue Center is becoming one of the most important places developing educational and ecotourism in Peru. The Rescue Center provides opportunities for young people. Jackson, Diana, Lucio and Grisel came from rural schools and now they have the opportunity to guide some of the most important tourist groups visiting the Peruvian Amazon. 
we have received very important visitors, such as the Peruvian Vice President, environmental ministers, several movie and TV stars, and very important people in the conservation world. We are deeply grateful to the Dallas World Aquarium for trusting us and continue leading this project that has become one of the most inspiring programs nationwide. We want to become an emotion maker institution. We want to inspire people. Children are not only the future, they are also the present and are currently making a positive change in our society. Thanks, Mr. Dario. Thanks, the Dallas World Aquarium.